Here's Carol with the weather. Good morning. It's a very cloudy start to the day. There's some spots of rain, but it will brighten up, particularly so across Scotland, Northern Ireland, and later, Northern England. We'll have more details in about 15 minutes. Thanks, Carol. By the forecast for us. Morning, Carol. Good morning. It's a cloudy start to the day. We've also got some spots of rain around, but it is going to brighten up, particularly in the northern half of the country. Now, September went out on a mild note. October has also come in on a mild note, but that's going to change. You can see over the next few days, the colder air is represented by the blue, sweeping away the milder air as represented by the yellow. And it's going to be accompanied by wet and windy conditions. Today, what we've got are two weather fronts sinking southwards, taking the cloud with them. Look how the isobars start to tighten across the northwest later. So here, increasingly, it's going to turn that bit windier. So a cloudy start for England and for Wales with a few spots of rain, some brighter interludes developing. But for Scotland and Northern Ireland and Northern England, we'll see the brightness come in the quickest. So through the afternoon, some lengthy spells of sunshine across Northern Ireland, lengthy spells of sunshine across much of Scotland with some thicker cloud and some showers across the far northwest. But in Scotland and Northern Ireland, it will feel a bit fresher than it did yesterday. That brightness coming in right behind the weather fronts across the north of England. The weather front still producing some patchy clouds, some patchy outbreaks of rain, the rain being fairly hit and miss as the fronts continue to weaken. And in between the two fronts, some bright there's the second one moving away from Kent. Into the southwest here too, there'll be variable amounts of cloud as we head on through the afternoon with one or two showers. The odd shower could be heavy, most of them won't be, and we're not immune to those showers either across Wales. Again, most of them won't be heavy. As we head on through the evening and overnight, we still do have all this cloud and some spots of rain across southern counties of England and also Wales. So temperatures are a wee bit higher here. Under the clear skies, though, in rural prone areas, the temperatures will be low enough for a touch of frost, but not so across the northwest because here it will be too breezy. And tomorrow, if anything, that wind continuing to strengthen. Now, tomorrow, for the bulk of the UK, it's going to be dry. There will be bright or sunny spells and still warm for the time of the year. But change is afoot and it's in the shape of that weather front coming in. Now, it's a slow moving weather front and it's going to slowly drift southwards as we head through the course of Friday. Cooler conditions come in behind, still in the warmth ahead of it, but there'll always be more cloud building just ahead of it and gusty winds around it. And this looks like being the first heavy rain that we'll have seen this autumn. So in essence, as we head towards the end of the week, it is turning cooler. Temperatures will be closer to where we'd expect them at this time of the year. It will also be windy, gusting to gale force across northwestern exposures. And there will be some rain as well, some welcome rain for some of us at that billion cell. That's absolutely true. We do. We are in a state where we're beginning to, beginning to need it. So, Carol, thanks very much. Thanks, Carol. Now, let's catch up for the last time on the weather. Here's Carol. Thanks, Billy. Good morning. This morning, it's a fairly cloudy start to the day. We've got some spots of rain around as well, but it will brighten up, particularly so across the northern half of the country. Now, September left us on a dry and a mild note, and we've gone into October on a mild note as well. But over the next few days, look how this colder air, as illustrated by the blue, sweeps away the yellow, warmer air. And this actually takes us up to Saturday evening. So by Saturday, we'll all be feeling a change in the weather, and we'll all have seen some wet and windy weather by then as well. Today, what we've got are two weather fronts moving steadily southeastwards, both of them taking their cloud and spots of rain with them. Behind, you can see the closeness of the actual isobars, so it's going to turn increasingly windy across the northwest. But before we get to that stage, you can see also the extent of the cloud cover, where we've got our two distinctive weather fronts and in between where it brightens up. But it will brighten up first and foremost across Scotland and Northern Ireland and that sunshine hanging on into the afternoon. Quite a pleasant afternoon. Pleasant afternoon across much of Scotland with some blue skies. Out towards the west, we'll see the clouds start to build up one or two showers develop and later on the wind will strengthen as well. But right behind the weather front, it brightens up across the north of England and you can see where our weather front is, again producing some patchy cloud and some spots of rain, brighter skies, and then we run back into our second weather front in the far southeast, continuing to clear away from Kent and taking its rain with it. One or two showers developing this afternoon across the southwest of England. You might find the odd heavy one, most of them won't be though, and some showers across Wales, interspersed with bright or sunny skies. Now, through the evening and overnight, our weather front continues to drift southwards. There'll be a lot of cloud and some spots of rain with it. That combination will help maintain the temperature level. 
The north is out under clear skies. It will be cold enough in rural areas for a touch of frost. But with the breeze across the northwest of Scotland and the showers, we shouldn't have any problems with that. So that's a combination for the northwest tomorrow. But for the bulk of the UK tomorrow, it's going to be a fine and a dry day. Still pleasantly warm. Temperatures from about 13 in Aberdeen to 21, 22 as we head down towards the southeastern corner. But it's as we move from Thursday into Friday that we have our band of rain continuing to drift slowly southwards. And I emphasise slowly because if you caught under it, you will know all about it. Gusty winds around it as well. And it looks like it's going to be the heaviest rain that we have seen so far this autumn. Now behind it, fresher conditions come in. Ahead of it, though, we still will have a fair bit of cloud at times, some brighter breaks, some sunshine, and temperatures still on the high side for the time of the year. But that will change because by the time we get to Saturdays, we saw for all of us, it will be cooler. We'll all have seen a spell of wet and windy weather as well. So more autumnal feel to things by then, Sal and Billy. Well, it is the 1st of October. Getting cooler. Yeah. All right, Carol, thank you very much.